Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Hub. But today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the iOS 4 firmware for your iPod Touch second generation and your iPhone 3G. Nothing else is compatible with this, only the two devices that I just said. Uh, so no MC models, none of that. So I'll be showing you how to do it on Red Snow and Ponage Tool. Ponage Tool 4 just now came out about 30 minutes ago and uh, Red Snow 0.9.5 has been out for a while, but it also works. Now this is an unlock as well, and uh, you will need the latest version of iTunes and your firmware. Uh, again, all downloads will be down in the description below. Uh, I'm going to be saying that a lot because uh, some people may be forgetting or may skip through the video. So uh, all downloads are below that you need, and plus instructions on how to do it in case you don't like watching videos, <laughs> which I don't know why, but anyways, go ahead and connect your iPod Touch or iPhone to iTunes, um, and mine is not, don't put it in recovery mode or anything, uh, just leave it how it is, then you're going to open up Red Snow, I'm going to be showing you Red Snow, again, uh, both programs are compatible with Mac and Windows, uh, so you're going to hit browse, and you're going to find your IPSW, uh, which you would have downloaded from below, uh, it will be the custom, or not the custom, the iPhone 4, or Wow, iPod Touch Second Generation iOS 4 re Restore.IPSW. You're going to hit that, and now it's going to process the firmware. And then you will be able to hit next. Actually, it's going to ask if it's an MC model, and you're going to hit no, obviously, because it doesn't even work. All right, so this is successfully identified. Go ahead and hit next, and now it will. Oh, I got this thing on here. Log connection. No. Here's the little process that's going on right now. Again, you will need to be on 4.0 already <clears throat> prior to doing this. And uh, so now it's going to ask you what kind of stuff you want. Install City, obviously. Um, enable multitasking. Enable battery percentage. Enable home screen wallpaper. Um, I don't want to do anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit next. And now you need to turn your iPod or iPhone off. So you see this, slide the power off, power it off, and then hit next, and you're going to have to do the instructions it shows on screen. I'll zoom in so you can see the instructions. Home and power button for 10 seconds. Let go of the power and keep holding the home button for up to 30 seconds. It doesn't usually take the whole 30 seconds. That's why I say up to 30 seconds. Alright, and there we go. iTunes just open and close for some reason. And now this is what your screen will look like. It's like a gray screen. And it will show up here, waiting for reboot. Blah blah blah, uploading RAM disk. And it will say preparing or downloading jailbreak data on your iPod or iPhone. Let's just see the on screen, what's going on on here. I'm pretty sure it's just going to keep doing that and then it's going to say finish. Uploading kernel. And the iPod still looks the same. It still says jailbreak, downloading jailbreak data. And then done. So go ahead and hit finish. And now let's focus on the iPod. And there we go. Now you have it on the lock screen. I'm going to unlock it. And now we have, you see in the background, and then to this. Oh, and there's Cydia. It's white until you open it up. I'm pretty sure it'll change logos then. Uh, let's see how this multitasking works. I'm not really familiar with their know how. I thought you just pressed that. I guess not. I don't know. I'm not sure how it works yet. Um, I will figure it out because it does enable multitasking on the uh, if you select it which you should have you should have selected it um, so you see I am still on I am on 4.0 right there and I do have Cydia right there let's just open it up just to prove it and it will reorganize and all that stuff yep see there you go so that's how you jailbreak it and uh, if you wanted to unlock your iPhone uh, you will need to uh, 
add the source and Dissidia that I will have in the description below and uh, and then download Ultra Snow. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and please like this video as it really helps me and favorite if you, you know, maybe you forget something and you want to go back to it or if you just like the video. So thanks a lot guys. I'll see you later. Peace.